Okay, so a bunch of new things has happened. Um, I guess. I mean, things are always happening. This is one of my new merch pieces on my uh, Teespring store. It is designed by Tarek, my moderator on my Discord. And it says, that is a weird name. It's a face mask. Very fashionable right now. You didn't see that. I had to wash my tablecloth again because my bird had plenty of oopsies on it. In other news, my uh, trusted YouTube notebook, it is filled like all the way. I've now changed over to this book. Here are my notes for this video. You know, and I made terrible notes for this video. It says awesome played lately. So the first game in my notes is obviously Story of Seasons Pioneers of Olive Town. Now that the game is out, I am hoping that a lot of you guys are enjoying it or simply enjoy it as much as I do. I still play it. I'm now above 50 hours of play time in the game and I'm currently saving up to what I think is the last house upgrade and it costs 1 million. And I have started customizing all the way to the back of my farm, to the inner part of my farm, let's say, with pathways and I'm going crazy in the game. I'm just enjoying my time in the game and I'm bed gaming it a lot, like obviously. I know it is struggling in performance and it still is and that is what a lot of you are saying also. The more things you put down on your farm, the more the game is gonna struggle, you know, late game with frame drops and stuff. I'm really hoping that they will patch that and I will get uh, the DLC areas when they arrive but it is kind of weird that you had to go that way I mean pay for DLC areas when it should have been in the game from the get-go oh and another thing is that I have that game digital and people on my discord are asking me if I'm gonna get the premium box which is really cute with like a plushie and a poster and stuff it's kind of cute yeah i gotta say that but no i think i'm just gonna stick with digital because something has happened with me uh the past especially the past two years i feel like since i started getting review codes because of my channel i have naturally grown towards having digital games and not physical. I mean, I never get review codes from Nintendo. So all Nintendo games I gotta buy, and then I buy it physical, I mean. But like, games like the entire Atelier series on the Switch and Story of Seasons, uh, both of them actually, I decide to buy them digital on my Switch. I just find that so much more convenient. So this video is sponsored by Lexer, a wonderful company. They make SD cards for everyone that needs some digital storage of some sort. Like, for example, this SD card. It is just wonderful to have a big SD cards for your Switch and even for your phone and also for your cameras. I mean, I have several cameras because I work with video, I shoot video for people, I'm a freelance videographer. But most importantly, I have gotten into, for the past years, definitely into digital gaming. And I now have huge SD cards in both of my Switches my regular Switch and my Switch Lite. And these Lexer cards, they are good. They are reliable. They are really fast when transferring stuff, like transferring huge YouTube video files and like booting up the games, no problem. I highly recommend getting huge SD cards for my Switch. And I have said this before. And guys, we have entered the digital era of video games. So SD cards, they are the future. I mean, we have already gotten to the point where there are digital-only home consoles. And I know a lot of you like to have a bunch of games in physical. I still kind of do, but not for everything. I don't need every single game to be physical because I'm sort of, and I like to believe that I am a minimalist and I don't want to own too much stuff in general in my life sort of thing. So a bunch of games I feel like I can have digital, but I gotta have the storage space to have all of them stored in my Switch. And what I love the most about digital games is that I don't have to change out any cartridges. They are all installed, always ready to be played on my Switch, and I am a game jumper. I jump from one game to another. I mean, I can play Story of Seasons and suddenly I feel like playing Trials of Mana, which is a game that I recently picked up also. 
But the thing is, I don't have to change any cartridges. So I find that super convenient. I recommend getting one of the bigger SD cards to fit a bunch of games. I mean, if you have a bunch of games. But I remember I started out with a 32 gigabyte, like in 2017. So it's okay to start out with. I mean, that is a start. But the bigger, the better. <laughs> now, link to Lexer's SD card and use my link. My link is the magic link. And get yourself some Lexer SD cards. Highly recommend. <clears throat> now, speaking of Trials of Mana, it is actually in my notes. In the terrible notes that I have for this video. I like the game. And I know it is old. It is by no means a new game. It has been out for years. Probably two years. I don't know. Last year. But Trials of Mana is a remake of an older game that is a weird name. Seiken Densetsu. Oh my god. Seiken Densetsu. That is a weird name. Trials of Mana. What I can say about the game so far, I am like, I don't know, I'm less than 10 hours into the game, but I have enjoyed all my time so far. I can feel that it is a remake uh, in a lot of ways. It's like a bit simpler than what we are used to in this modern day and age of gaming in this sort of genre. But I like it. I like the simplicity and it is sort of linear. And the combat is what I find to be the most enjoyable and the graphics like and also the music Jesus the music is like actually good uh, way ahead of its time for a game that is this old actually really good original soundtrack as well as the remastered music I mean I am all over the place now with explaining this game but okay let's start with the combat it is so simple easy and it's sort of like hack and slashy and it doesn't need to be too complicated. I just enjoy whacking things, you know, shooting down a few spells. I just enjoy the combat. It is like fun, actual fun. The graphics are also so enjoyable in itself. The colors are crazy in this game. The saturation is set up to max. I'm so drawn to colors in games. Don't know what that is, but it's just a thing that I feel. It's like, I'm gonna play Trials of Mana after I'm done doing a few videos. Um, yeah, I'm doing a collab video also today. <laughs> Stay tuned for that. But yeah, I'm gonna play Trials of Mana today. Just enjoyable. I mean, look out for that game. It was recently on sale. That's why I picked it up. Because story of my life. With me, it's always like it was on my wish list and it was on sale. <laughs> Every single game ever. And yeah, I buy all my games digital, except Nintendo games, like I mentioned earlier. So yeah, check out Trials of Mana. But you have probably already. I'm just the last person on Earth to play that game. Well, that was uh, all for this video. I have so many other games that I have played lately, but I'm gonna space it more out in several videos so that I may actually upload a new video more often. <laughs> eh, guilty of not uploading too many videos too often. Uh, not often at all, actually. Anyways, now thank you so much for watching. Join my Discord, follow my Twitter and Instagram, like and subscribe, play games, have fun, and I will see you later. <laughs>